Welcome to our Fiber Database Administrator Training, covering the topics presented at IB Experts Firebird School, held by Holger Klemt and Jason Chapman, as part of the International Firebird Conference 2007. We'll continue in this tutorial session by looking at protocols, the ODBC driver, and importing and exporting data. Setting up protocols. Your database is full of information, and sometimes it's helpful to log certain aspects of the information manipulation selects, inserts, updates, and deletes, to gain an insight to what is really happening in your database. So, if you have certain information in your database which you want to observe, for example, you wish to monitor which changes are being made in the customer table, there are a number of ways to set up logs. Manually, you can create a trigger on each table where you want to have a protocol. Almost automatically, Take a look at the script named db2.sql in the ibexpert demo db, which creates a fully functional transaction log just by executing the procedure init log, or automatically. To create a log automatically, simply click here in the table editor on logging and confirm that you wish ibexpert to create the necessary database objects. All you then need to do is click prepare table for logging. You only need to do this once. Now I can say on this table I want to log insert, update and delete operations. I simply click the right mouse button to log all. IB Expert then generates triggers for the whole table which can be compiled and committed. So now when changes are made to this table for example, I'll change a couple of names here, whether from IB Expert or any other application and committed, they can be viewed here in the log. Type of action, update, when, 19th of October 2007, and by whom, sysdba. The key field values are displayed on the right. And in the bottom half here, you can see exactly what was altered. Old value, Mari, new value, Brunny. This log runs in the background, in the database at trigger level. Other tools with advanced log functions can be found in the IB Expert menu, Tools, Log Manager. ODBC driver. If you need an ODBC driver, you can download the setup from www.firebirdsql.org and simply use the Windows menu, Settings, System Control, Administration, Data Source and select FB ODBC. This now allows you to access Firebird data from non-Firebird applications such as for example Open Office Base. Simply follow the steps to access your Firebird database and data. A tip. If you need to import data from external data sources, IB Expert has an ODBC viewer, which you can use to view, for example, access data, and even export this data into a table using a script. The Fiber Core only offers import and export using external files, which requires a respective setting in Fiber Conf and restarting the server. The files can be defined by declaring a table, create table external file. This offers you the possibility to store your database contents externally outside the database. You can also do this in an interchange format. This function is extremely quick. 100,000 datasets can be imported or exported every second. It is however limited for certain data types, particularly those of a variable length such as blobs. The best solution is to define the table using the above instruction, defining as far as possible all fields as char. You can alternatively use the Firebird ODBC driver with any ODBC capable tool, the IB Expert ODBC viewer or IB Expert's IBE block ODBC support. You can even automate your import and export using IBE block. Results of SQL queries can then be exported from the IB Expert SQL editor. For example, this doesn't yet contain the line feed. If you need this, you need to define it specifically. There's a UDF you can use for this. Such an insert would then be, for example, insert into category ext, select star from category. Import and export using other software, the ODBC driver. In IB Expert, you can use the ODBC tool we just took a brief look at. To export, you can also use the IB Expert tool, export data. First, Select star from customer. And now we can export this data by simply clicking on the export button. And here you can select from the range of export formats. You can also use the IBE block ODBC support. 
IBE Block, the command line version IBE script, and the sample scripts are included in the IB Expert full version. Here you can find some examples. If we take a look at the script, this is an execute block. I'll copy it into IB Expert. This is basically an integrated script language which offers flexible possibilities. For example, this demo database on C. I'll construct a connection to it and use this connection to execute an SQL statement. I can use the suspend parameter to process data. The data you see here is from an ODBC source. So, if you want to automate an import or export job, you don't need to write a separate program for each. You can usually use a script such as this, as it has all the necessary capabilities. And the IBE script version can be used on any IB Expert licensed machine or VAR machine to execute these scripts automatically. There's also the possibility to select and export as, if for example you need a CSV file. So, that was our introduction to protocols, the ODBC driver, and a brief look at importing and exporting data. A transcript of this tutorial can be downloaded by all IB Expert registered full version holders from the customer download area at www.ibexpert.com. All topics presented here are also documented in detail on our website. We hope this tutorial has been of help to you and look forward to publishing our next tutorial in our series for DB admins. Goodbye for now and thank you from all of us at IB Expert. Thank you.